Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And you have stumbled on to day eight of blind tastings of this World Whiskey Advent Calendar from Drinks by the Dram. I'll put a link down below so that you can investigate the company, maybe get one. Uh, might be a little late to do it this year, since it takes a week or 10 days to get here from the UK here, meaning the U.S. I don't know where you are. It might take even longer. But December is a very good month here because we're tasting and posting every day. So we're going to dig into day eight here, pull out the little bottle, and pour it into a glass without me seeing what it is. I will apply my limited experience from a couple of years of tasting whiskey carefully, mostly scotches and bourbons. But this is a calendar full of world whiskeys that come from somewhat farther away for the most part. So here's day number eight. Mm, it smells like whiskey. I'll put the bottle over here so I can't see what it is. And then we'll start in on the nose. I'll try to figure out what I can from nosing and tasting this and see how close I can get. Haven't been very close so far. It smells like a malt. It's got a bit of color to it. So it's either color added or from some sort of sherry cask or other fortified wine that adds a bit of color. Hmm. Not a lot of clues, not a lot of notes. I smell the alcohol, I smell a little bit of malt. There's somewhat of an earthy, moist, damp wood type, somewhat umami note. It's got a character like maybe it was in a Dunnage warehouse. It's not bright and crisp and clean, it's a little earthy and dirty and smudged. Some kind of earthiness to it there. But the nose overall is pretty quiet. I can't really tell about the ABV from the nose and we've proven that over the last seven days. So, not getting more clues on the nose, we'll just go in for tasting. Oh wow, there's a little bit of sherry there. This has been done in some sort of cask that's previously contained sherry or some other fortified wine. And it's carrying in a lot of fruity notes. And the, the nuttiness and the dark fruit flavors I'm getting suggest sherry. There's a nice, full, robust sweetness behind it. Well, hard to pick out the malt in the background because that fruity and sherry note is strong enough. That is pretty good and pretty full and robust. It's hard to tell the ABV because it's so uh, sweet and fruity and uh, pleasant on the palate. Right now I'd put it in the 43 to 46 range. It's probably not exclusively sherry matured, but maybe sherry finished. And it certainly got the color to back up a claim like that, but it's, it's not a reliable guide since color can be added. Color can be added in the, in Scotland. Uh, 
Who knows what the rules are in other parts of the world? It's still got a little bit of that uh, earthy, funky, woody, damp warehouse smell, like grandpa's garage or an old cave where something's been buried for a few years. And it's not to say it's unpleasant, it's just one of the notes and it's uh, it's in some of my favorite whiskeys. I'm a big fan of Springbank and it's somewhat reminiscent of the uh, Springbank funk that people comment on and I enjoy. hard to pin down anything else that's characteristic or that I can describe. This is a full, rich, complex, full-bodied malt with some sherry notes. And it could be from anywhere. But those sherry casks tend to hang around Spain, Portugal, Scotland. Just because that's where they're most used. So I'm thinking it's most likely a scotch. Oh. I'm going to add water. I better do it before I drink it all. I'm not going to add the whole spoonful here. Just put in a few drops. See how that changes, if it opens it up or just dilutes it down. Not really familiar with the uh, potential world whiskeys that might use a sherry cask for finishing or for maturation. So my bias would be to Scotland. So the nose didn't really change with the addition of the water and the palate Got a little more diluter, a little more flatter, but I can still pick up the dark fruit notes. The sherry aspect of it is pretty clear still. I think the ABV was up at 46. That's gone down slightly, but it's still a, a rich complex malt that I am thinking is from Scotland. So there's what I'm thinking about it and I'm about to reach for the bottle and find out for sure. Let's see if my face turns right on this one. <laughs> Omar single malt whiskey sherry cask single malt whiskey 46%. Omar is a name I'm not familiar with. Although somehow, I would think Middle Eastern, Asia Minor, I'm not sure where this would be from, but I will do a little research and put it in the description down below so that it won't be a total mystery to others either. So Omar, single malt whiskey and sherry cask that I did pick out correctly. That is worth seeking out. So if you like this content, be sure and give the thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel, and then click the notification bell to get notified whenever new videos are posted. And we're going to post every day up till Christmas because there's a several more of these to go. So that's all for now.